bingo hall down in Gobo and my cousin's brother was calling and I won and I was hooked since then. <laughs> so I've been going to bingo, um, well I'm 50 now so 32 years. I love bingo. I used to skip around a lot but now I just usually just come here. My whole family played bingo, that's why we always skipped around a lot. My sisters always wanted to try someplace different once in a while. But, you know, otherwise I just come here. I like the people here. You know, other than I'm done. Why is it that uh, you play bingo? If you've been playing for 30 years, there's got to be an appeal to it. Why do, you, why do you play it? I play it because I like it. would think you know, when you think of bingo you think of it being either a um, childhood game or something you play in school or you think of it being more of a senior citizen type game. We do have the majority of our people are senior citizens, um, probably over 50, but as our game is running and especially in the last couple years we've noticed we're getting younger and younger players in all the time. They seem to be coming in couples, you know, like a night out kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's that it's kind of coming around again or if it's just, you know, if it's kind of a cycle thing, but we are definitely getting a 
a more variety of ages, which is great because if you have a senior citizen group, eventually, you know, you've got to get a younger crowd in to keep the whole cycle running. It used to be. I don't know how it is now. I don't know where that ever came from. I really don't. We have our bingo halls around here, but I, I picture Detroit or Flint um, because I know how many bingos are over there. There's just they're loaded over there. And you picture Florida. I mean, it's the retirement capital of the world, or out west. And I can't imagine how Grand Rapids got named, but I would not agree with that. But we we do have a lot of bingos. Uh, we just the lower half of Michigan. We have a lot of bingo. We get everybody in here, you know. And it's just uh, getting to know the people. Well, my name's Will Weber. I'm the chairman of this bingo, and I do it Saturday and Sunday nights. Most everybody here knows some, you know, each other. You know, most of them know each other by name. It's mostly for fun and get away from home. A lot of the same people play all over the city of Grand Rapids. I never played outside of the Grand Rapids. You know, I talked to a couple different people. They say you know they have smaller crowds like in Cadillac. And I talked to Lady Lansing. She said that they don't have near the size crowds that we do. So it's a good possibility. I mean, I'd like to think so. I think it's the atmosphere that brings it back, not the bingo itself. All different types, of all denominations and creeds. It depends on which bingo hall you're comfortable at. It's a lot to do with the crowds that are there because some crowds make a lot of noise while you're trying to hear something and other crowds are really quiet while they're calling the bingos. Sometimes at the 48th and Eastern, they won't be happy with the way the guys are calling the numbers and stuff, and then I'll get up there and everybody will clap, and it really makes my day, too, when I can make somebody happy like that, because they know I let the numbers mix up and stuff, and some of the guys don't. They just rush right through it, and the players like to take their time. They're there to play, not work, and if you go too fast when you're calling, it's more like work. <laughs> 